Hey guys, we love bringing gaming aspects into our classrooms, and Genially does that beautifully. But not only does it allow us to bring gaming into our classrooms, it makes learning accessible for all students. Check this out. So I can add an audio clip to any of their creations. So here's an ABC board that they have pre-made, ready to go. And I added an audio clip here to the A and an image to the plus sign. Students can press the play button. A is for apple. A, A, apple. And they will hear the sound. They can hover over the plus sign and see an image. Add audio to any of your Genially creations just by clicking insert and then click to record an audio. B is for ball. B, B, ball. Here you can play back the audio and make sure you're happy with it. And then resize and place the audio file wherever you would like on your creation. To add an image, click on the graphic that you'd like to add the image to. Press on the hand for interactivity. And we're going to delete this text. I am then going to add an image. Here I can resize it and then click Save. And here's what it looks like. B is for ball. B, B, ball. Now, adding audio to an ABC board kind of makes sense, right? Let's show you now how you can add audio to a more advanced work within Genially to make learning accessible for all students. Here's a Genially quiz game that we made about the Industrial Revolution. To make this more accessible, we can add audio to our questions so that way all students can access the content. And you guys know how to do this, right? Click insert and then click to add audio. Now I can move this audio and place it wherever I would like on the slide. And now whenever I play the game, all students can have access to the audio. In the 1800s, Great Britain was producing 3,000 tons of steel. This is a great way to make learning accessible for all students.